hi everyone in this video i am going to discuss about the rules and regulations uh, regarding mask layout when we are going to design the layout diagrams for the sema circuit diagrams there are some set of rules we should follow like what should be the minimum width and what should be the minimum length of a particular wire or a layer okay such type of rules are identified by the lambda based rules okay so the rules are named as rules are named as lambda based rules lambda based design rules okay that means all the values are mentioned in terms of lambda okay like 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda like that and so on it is n lambda okay so lambda based design rules are nothing but lambda based design rules are the rules used to draw the layout diagrams in the cmos circuit diagrams okay so lambda based design rules so that is nothing but all the values are all the quantities are measured in terms of lambda what do you mean by lambda other name of this lambda based design rules are other name is micrometer design rules micrometer design rules micrometer design rules that means all the values micrometer design rules means micrometer all the values are measured in terms of 1 micrometer 2 micrometer and so on it is n times of micrometers okay here lambda is referring to 1 micrometer lambda refers to 1 micrometer so you can call it as lambda based design rules or micrometer design rules both are same but lambda refers to 1 micrometer okay that means so what we are going to see here suppose if you are drawing any layer like this suppose i am taking a metal layer that metal layer may be of metal 1 and metal 2 okay i told you already two different metal layers are there metal 1 and metal 2 if you see the difference between metal 1 and metal 2 metal 1 is having low resistance and a low capacitance whereas metal 2 is having little bit higher than these two okay that's why metal 1 is commonly preferred everywhere so metal 1 if you take metal 1 nothing but vertical lines okay for this metal 1 the width of this particular layer should be 3 lambda okay the width of this particular layer should be 3 lambda so this is the minimum thickness we should follow beyond that it is accepted but below that it is not accepted okay if you say 4 lambda that is fine if you say 5 lambda that is okay but the minimum length should be 3 lambda the minimum thickness should be 3 lambda okay this is regarding metal one and if you take another metal one below this metal one another metal one wire then what should be the distance between these two layers suppose if you violate that particular distance what happens the distance between these two metal ones metal layers should be 3 lambda suppose if you take 2 lambda then it provides an electrical contact between these two okay if the length uh, or is the thickness and spacing we can say spacing or distance between the layers is less than given value then less than given value what is the problem there exists an electrical contact electrical contact between them
there exists an electrical contact between them that means if you take any two lambda between these two then simply they give an electrical contact or it may be uh, possible to generate a capacitance because the two what do you mean by capacitance capacitance is nothing but two conducting plates separated by a dielectric medium here the metal one and metal two are acting as a conducting layers separated by some air as a dielectric medium then it simply acts as a capacitance action okay all such problems will be there if you violate the design rules so that's why <coughs> one should follow lambda based design rules when we are going for the layout diagrams okay such type of design rules are mentioned here for each and every layer see here it is n plus diffusion n plus diffusion which is in green color we have taken n plus diffusion here see each and every layer of n plus diffusion or p plus diffusion or it may be a polysilicon as shown here all these type of layers having must have a minimum thickness of 2 lambda see here if you see this n plus diffusion here it is having a thickness of 2 lambda it is having a thickness of 2 lambda length may be depending on our wish and P plus diffusion, P plus diffusion green border with yellow stripes that is also having exactly 2 lambda that is also having a minimum width of 2 lambda. Now if you take the separation between these two, if you two, two N plus diffusions are going side by side then we should follow the minimum thickness, minimum spacing or gap between them should be 3 lambda. And similarly, the P plus diffusion is there and another P plus diffusion is there going side by side. Definitely, we should maintain a minimum uh, thickness of 3 lambda. Okay. So, N plus diffusion thickness and P plus diffusion thickness is same as 2 lambda. And the spacing between 2 N plus and P plus regions should be minimum of 3 lambda. So, these are all minimum dimensions. All these are minimum dimensions. Remember, all these are minimum dimensions. Above that is accepted, but below that is not accepted. Now, coming to the polysilicon. Polysilicon is in red color, we know. Here, I have given all of them in uh, color-wise notation so that you can easily understand. Uh, red Polysilicon, which is in red color, that is having a thickness of 2 lambda, 2 lambda. And they must be separated by a distance of 2 lambda. They must be separated by a distance of 2 lambda. What is the problem if it is less than 2 lambda? Then again, there exists some capacitance action or any, can it, any, uh, or any electrical contact between these two. Okay, so to avoid that, we should maintain all these design rules. And coming to this metal 1 and metal 2, I told you there are two different metals we generally prefer in the layout diagrams. Metal 1 and metal 2. Uh, metal 1 is having a minimum thickness of 3 lambda and the spacing between them should be again 3 lambda okay if you see if you work with metal 1 all things should be 3 lambda if you work with metal 2 all things should be 4 lambda so 4 lambda is the minimum thickness and 4 lambda is the spacing between the two metal lines additionally contact is also there contact cut contact cut is nothing but what is the purpose of contact cut when two layers are joined together, there should definitely be a contact. Okay, suppose if a metal is combining with polysilicon, a metal is combining with the polysilicon, then we need a contact. If a diffusion is given with some other input or metal line, then we need a contact cut. So, contact cut is used to provide interconnection between two layers. Contact cut, it is used to Contact cut is used to give connection between give connection between two different layers. Two different layers. So what is the size of this uh, contact cut? 3 lambda by 3 lambda, 3 lambda horizontally and as well as 3 lambda vertically. Okay, that means this indicates minimum dimension beyond that is accepted. Suppose if it is 4 lambda by 4 lambda, it is accepted. But if it is 2 lambda by 2 lambda, it is not at all accepted. 
okay so depending upon the usage if you want to go for the small connection then uh, 3 lambda by 3 lambda is sufficient otherwise the 4 lambda by 4 lambda that is a requirement with all these measurements let us see the lambda based design for the transistors so how long the lambda based design rules work on the transistors we know here there are three different types of transistors are shown the first one is green and red are crossing together that means red over green so red over green is nothing but n mos transistor red over green is nothing but n mos transistor coming to this one the second diagram is this is the first one and the second diagram is what it is green with yellow border whereas red is over there okay so red over p plus diffusion red over p plus diffusion so what it is p mos transistor p mos transistor now coming to the third one if you see this one third one is nothing but depletion mode depletion mode n mos depletion mode n mos see here it is 2 lambda it is again 2 lambda 2 lambda by 2 lambda here we can say length to width is equal to 2 lambda by 2 lambda this is the way how to represent the lambda based design rules and here also the polysilicon is of 2 lambda and p plus diffusion is again 2 lambda so we can say l is to w is equal to 2 lambda by 2 lambda here also it is 2 lambda and this one is 2 lambda okay these two are 2 lambdas but what about this yellow yellow color is nothing but 6 lambda by 6 lambda yellow color is nothing but 6 lambda by 6 lambda which is nothing but ion implant ion implantation okay ion implantation is nothing but channel is already created in the depletion mode that is the meaning of ion implantation okay finally these are the design rules of each and every layer which is generally used in the uh, MOSFET realizations okay such type of rules are known as lambda based design rules lambda based design rules thank you